Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will talk about how you can uh, restore a master database within the SQL Server in case it gets corrupt. Before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit on the bell notification icon, select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos and uh, there are some points to be remember uh, while performing exercises in this video uh, I would suggest you to perform these exercises in your lab environment with test databases please do not attempt this procedure with the production databases in your office or in any of the production environments uh, do not perform these exercises with the production databases and uh, it could don't it should only be pro uh, the exercises should only be performed with the test uh, databases in test environment to gain uh, knowledge and information. So I would request you guys to please watch this video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept and if possible watch the video twice and we would like to hear about your thoughts regarding our videos so please share your comments. So let's come back to the topic which is how you can restore a um, master database inside SQL Server. So let's go quickly go to notes. Uh, so here we will cover a demo on how you can restore the master database and uh, before that there is a warning uh, so basically in case of a disaster or any instance where the master database is being restored to should be close to an exact match to the original as possible so it is basically saying that whatever uh, database backup that we are trying to restore should be as close match as possible to the instance where the master database is being restored so maybe sometimes we take master database from a different machine and we are trying to restore it on a different machine so sometimes uh, in those scenarios it, ca it causes issues but yeah if a backup is uh, taken from the same instance it will not cause any issues uh, where you are restoring it and uh, doing otherwise might result in uh, undefined SQL Server instance behavior so at a minimum recovery instance should be at the same version so yeah the database backup should be at the same version um, as the SQL server where the database is being restored uh, addition and patch level these should match and so recovery instance should be match database and recovery instance the version addition and patch level should match and it should have the same selection of feature and the same external configuration hostname and cluster membership as the original instance so these are some of the key points to keep in view now let's quickly go back to sql server uh, we'll take a backup first in order to perform this procedure so right now i see there are no backups of master database so let's quickly go ahead and take a master database backup so master is a system database it is not a user database so let's go ahead and take a full backup of master database so go to task do a backup and uh, this runs under a simple recovery model we are taking a full backup and the name of the file will be master.back let's click ok a master database backup is now created and if we take a look in this folder we have a file of database backup now let me show you how you can perform restore so in case our master database corru gets corrupt and sql server is not able to start so let's close the sql server and uh, let me stop the services so let's stop the the default instance i'm a sql server i'm stopping the service so now sql server service is stopped so what we will do now the next step is to restore the database backup that we have taken so in order to do that uh, open command prompt uh, with the administrative privileges so using this command prompt i will connect to the instance of sql server so click inside it you need to go uh, go to a specific path so path is this uh, under the ms sql folder there is a bin directory so copy this path completely and go there uh, put a paste and there's a file which is known as sequels so let's go inside this location then there's a file and a sql server so let me put that in so all right let me show you what our exes are available uh, so this is the name of the file sql server so it's not starts with the ms sql server just uh, type sql server so sql server 
exe now you need to pass some switches i'm trying to connect to sql server uh, in a single user mode uh, need to specify the instance name so in our case it's ms sql server which is the default instance and along with that uh, i need to use the following uh, switch which is m sql commands now it's connected to the sql database here so if you take a look here so so it started the database and uh, sql server is listening on these these ports and other ports they are listening to is 1433 here so sql server is listening on these ports as well so right now we are connected so we can minimize this window and we need to open up another command window with uh, administrative privileges so do a run as administrator it will open up another uh, window now using this window we will use sql command here so please type that command along with me so it's sql command uh, hyphen s and you need to specify the instance in this case it should be a server name not the instance name of sql server we are specifying E for the Kerberos authentication and integrity security and we are connected to a master database here because we are performing a restore of master database. So all right, uh, we are connected to the SQL master database and let's do a restore uh, of this file, master database backup, which we had taken. So uh, it's inside the backup folder, master.bag is the file and let's put the statement over here so in order to restore restore statement should be there we are restoring a database which is not database name is master and we are restoring it from disk uh, and we are specifying the location so we can paste the location so we need to change it a little bit so it's inside the backup directory and master.back is the file name and an additional option we need to specify is with replace so basically the use of replace option is to instruct SQL Server to restore the specified database even when a database of the same name already exists. The existing database, if any, is deleted in a single user mode. Okay. So it's basically overwrite any database. It deletes an existing master database and just restores the backup. And so basically with replace option allows you to write over an existing database when doing a restore without first backing up the tail of the transaction log. So in this scenario, we don't need to back up a tail of a transaction log because we are, we are uh, using the with replace option. So let's quickly do it. And you need to specify go in order to execute these commands. So let's perform go. Let's see what output do we get. taking time to restore I don't know but uh, it's taking up some time so let me close this window quickly and uh, that window is closed now let me quickly open up a window not as administrative uh, part but yeah just a simple window so here we will use sql command uh, need to specify certain options so options would be sql command minus s uh, need to specify the uh, 123.7.0.0.1 ip address to uh, connect to a local uh, server and hyphen d option is specified to connect to master database let's see if it connects So it's not connecting right now. Uh, showing uh, login download exceeded. Let's try that again. So 
So it is giving some uh, pre-login timeout issues. Uh, Let's remove the e part. Let's see if that helps. Now it's giving some issues. Let's let's try to connect to SQL Server again. Uh, let's open the command window. Run as administrator. Yes. Now window is open. Let me quickly go to. that path so path is uh, this so it's the bin directory let's go into uh, so let's open it again it's when path is incorrect not sure why let's see so here we inside SQL Server. Let's paste the command. So it's saying the part does not exist. I don't know why. Part do exist, right? <laughs> I don't know why it was not connecting. So yeah. So here we, if we look at the exes, uh, let's run the SQL Server exe, and we need to specify certain option. We need to specify some switches minus C minus F and minus S. Then give the instance name, uh, which is MS SQL Server, and specify the MSQL command. Uh, so we are now connected to SQL Server database. Now let's open up a, a new command window. Let's open SQL command with uh, certain certain parameters. Uh, SQL command uh, and need to specify the instance name. Let's see this time if it connects. Uh, so it's not linked to so only administrator can connect at this time. So need to open the command window with the administrative privileges. So right click on it, run as administrator. So once the command window opens, uh, perform the SQL command with this uh, instance name as 127.0.0.1 and hyphen name D master database. Uh, So it's saying that the uh, server is in single use mode and only the administrator can connect at this time. Um, let's see if something can be done at this point. It's not allowing us to log on into server. Uh, Let's close both the windows and uh, start the service once. Uh, let's see. So we are inside SQL Server. Start the SQL Server. I see the database mo uh, mode or the server mode, whether it's in single user mode or multiple user mode. Okay, SQL Server is open, let's connect to it. So if we take a look at server, it's not showing any single user mode over here. Uh, let's quickly close it and uh, stop the service. Stop the SQL Server service. So once it is stopped, uh, not stopped, and uh, let's try to connect to it in a single user mode. Run as admin and see. But it lets us uh, to connect to it. Uh, 
also um, specified the path and uh, SQL server is the command uh, SQL exe minus c minus f minus s one twenty seven zero zero one and ms SQL server okay here we don't have to specify and here we have to specify the instance which is ms SQL server and SQL command needs to be specified so it's connected to it now let's open up another window uh, with a command prompt simple command prompt so let's do SQL CMD minus s and the instance name which will be 127.0.0.1 and minus c minus d master connection to master database so syntax is little bit incorrect SQL command okay so yeah, we are connected to SQL database. Now we will perform a restore. So restore database should be the statement and we are restoring master database and we are uh, restoring it from disk. We need to specify the disk backup path. So backup path is, okay, give me a second. Um, restore database master from disk equals specify the path so you can copy the path from here um, backup path copy that path uh, paste it here with that master dot uh, back is the file where the backup is there press enter and after that type go and press enter so database is restored now you see we got some messages that database is restored and at this moment it takes you out of the SQL command mode because we have executed the Google command uh, after typing in the statements. So let's close and see our master database is working after restore. So I've closed the windows where it was connected to a single uh, SQL server with the single user mode. Now I'm, I can start the service and we can go back to the SQL server using the management console. Let's connect to it and see if we are able to access the master, master database after restore. So wait for it to open, uh, service is started. So SQL Server should start in a while. Let's see what it's saying. So yeah, management console is starting in the background. Uh, let's move over to management console. It's not opened yet. Uh, so let's wait for it to open. It's open now. Okay, let's connect to the database. So we see master database is uh, restored at the moment and uh, you can see it under the system database master database is here and you can try and check one of the tables inside it. So let, let me open the MS application options table. It will show us the data out of it. So master database is restored successfully. So in this video we have discussed how you can restore the master database. And I hope you like this video and got the concept. So if you really like this video, please uh, hit on the like button and please subscribe to, my, uh, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon and select all notifications to get notifications regarding my all my future videos. And I thank you once again for your time on this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.